Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk about the uh, wind load in sub 2000. So uh, there are four uh, methods that you can apply the wind load on uh, the model or the structure. So uh, before we start, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. And if you like this video, please put the thumb up as well. So uh, the first method is you need to compute for the wind load uh, manually or by hand calculation. And then you apply um, the wind load on the joint or the uh, on the uh, frames of uh, your model. But uh, in order to do that, we need to create a load uh, patterns. So uh, we can create a wind uh, load pattern. And for this option, we select none and OK. And then we can apply as the joint forces or the frame uh, load. So uh, we can go to join forces and apply uh, like this. And we select the load pattern uh, wind. So uh, I will not cover this uh, method in this video. I will go to uh, load uh, patterns and delete uh, this. And the load case as well. So uh, next, uh, the second method is you can uh, use the uh, automated uh, tool in SAP 2000 to generate the uh, wind load uh, auto, uh, automatically and uh, to do that we can go to load uh, patterns again and we can sol uh, sorry we can add a wind load uh, pattern but uh, this time we select ASC 7 uh, 16 and we can go to modify lateral load pattern. So there are two options that you can choose the uh, diaphragm and the uh, exposure from frame and area objects. So uh, this option we can select uh, the area object or the frame objects or uh, both uh, depend on your structure. But uh, for the second method here, I will select the uh, rigid diaphragm here and we keep the parameter uh, uh, as default like this. But uh, I want to show you the case here. We can select one, two, three or four. And uh, this case, uh, you can check the information in ASE when 16. And uh, I will select create all cases and OK and OK. And if we go to load uh, patterns again, we will see the uh, generated load uh, pattern uh, by the program and we can uh, view the information uh, as well. So for this uh, case, uh, it is the case number two and we have the value here and uh, the wind direction angle uh, 90 degree. So uh, you can check other load uh, pattern as well, but uh, I will skip it for now. So, okay. And uh, next we need to define the diaphragm. So we can go to uh, define and join constraints. So uh, I already create two diaphragm here and we can modify or show the constraint here. So this is the diaphragm number one. Uh, we select Z axis and OK. And for the diaphragm number two, it is the same. But uh, we create two diaphragm uh, because we want to define uh, a two uh, floor here. So uh, now we can go to assign and join and constraints. So uh, for the first floor, we will apply the uh, diaphragm number one and 
this is time frame number two so now we have uh, assigned the diaphragm we can uh, run the analysis so uh, the analysis is complete and we can check the deformation so this is for the wind case uh, number one and uh, we can view the wind case number two as well and number three number four five and number six and you can view uh, the other load case as well so uh, this is how you apply the uh, second method so uh, next I will apply the uh, the third method, uh, method uh, which uh, we will use the area objects uh, as the uh, the cladding that uh, take the wind load so uh, I will delete uh, this load uh, pattern first but uh, if you notice you can only delete one by one so it's take time so uh, we can use this option interactive database editing and we can go to load uh, pattern and other one is load uh, case and ok so now we have two uh, table so first the load case definition so I will select this and delete and next one load pattern and delete next we can apply to model and done so if we go to load uh, patterns we will see only that load okay so uh, first I will create win uh, zero and we select the same code and we go to modify lateral load pattern and this case we select exposure from frame and uh, area objects and we select area objects here and we keep this as default as well and okay and next one we will uh, create a win 90 degree and we go to modify lateral load pattern again and select the same option so uh, to apply this option we need to draw an area so um, I will select this uh, tool and I'm going to select none for the section and I will draw it like this and enter enter and enter again and this is the last uh, um, area so uh, sorry uh, we need to choose this option okay so we have four uh, area so uh, I need to divide this area so uh, we select all and we can go to edit edit area and divide area and um, I'm going to select this one so now we have small area like this and uh, next we turn on the local axis and uh, I think I will select the area only the area first so uh, 
so uh, we show only the area uh, to make it easy to uh, view so I will rotate uh, sorry I will inverse this uh, axis uh, I want to make the axis here uh, parallel to the global axis so uh, we can go to area and reverse local 3 and apply and this one as well and this as well and this so uh, now we have something like this we can apply the win load so uh, I will select this for first and we go to area loads and uh, wind pressure coefficients and we select uh, wind zero so uh, for the windward this is so uh, zero point eight and we'll uh, uh, choose the load distribution to joints and apply and this one uh, 0 0.5 and for oh I think this is not right uh, this is not the windward this is the other here it's supposed to be a uh, lever so we choose the other and 0 0.5 Okay, next uh, we select wind uh, 90 degree and windward. This is 0 0.8, and we select this uh, uh, cladding. And this one, other, and 0 0.5. So now you can also uh, right click and view the load. Uh, here so uh, you can see windward no but uh, if we right click on this we can see windward yes so now we apply uh, already apply the wind load we can show all and I'm going to turn off the local axis and turn off field objects and we can run the analysis so now we can view the deformation uh, win zero so we have uh, something like this and next the uh, win 90 degree so we have something like this okay so uh, this is how you can apply the uh, third method or the wind load on the cladding and uh, next I will uh, select the, the cladding and delete it and I'm going to uh, go to a uh, load patterns and edit these to a uh, load so we can uh, go to modify lateral load pattern and this one uh sorry uh this case we select include frame objects and okay and this one frame objects and 90 okay so uh, next we can go to assign frame loads and open uh, structure win parameters so uh, I will select only the uh, column and we select yes apply and then we can run the sexual analysis 
now I'm going to show the win uh, zero deformation so we have something like this and next we can show the win uh, 90 degree so this is the uh, fourth uh, method so this is it for this video and I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, you can apply each method uh, depend on your project uh, you can choose which one is uh, more suitable okay so thank you so, uh, for watching and i see you guys in my next video